Hi folks, here's the final part of our lawnmower rebuild. See you in a minute. Right, well, the deck's dry now, as you can see, with the lacquer, and it's now time to reassemble and finish off the final bits that I've got to prepare for this lawnmower. As you can probably see now, let's show you. I've put the uh, wheel mechanisms back on. They've been painted, as you know, front and back. And I've also got the uh, rear flap uh, reinstalled again, so that's looking fine. And as you can see now, it's nice and durable now. Still a little bit softer paint, but I mean, that's gonna harden over time anyway, but uh, I'm sure you'll see it's a whole lot better than what it was. So I'm just gonna tidy up and tart up a few of these uh, remaining bits now. I've done the handles, I've actually painted them off camera, but um, I'm gonna tidy up the wheels now. The engine's gotta be tidied up before we put it in and also serviced and repainted. And then we'll assemble everything back together. So I'm gonna put you on time lapse again. But anyway, enough waffling on that now. Let's get this lawnmower put back together. See you in a minute. Right, there we go, there's a few bits bolted back on. All I did with the uh, wheels was, as you probably saw there in the time lapse, was just give them a quick coat of black. I didn't even rub them down. It just smartens them up a little bit. Takes away that worn plastic look sort of thing. There is plenty of tread still on these wheels, so they've uh, actually looked pretty good now that they've actually been done. The handles, as I've said to you, I've literally just given a light rub down, used a bit of satin black on them, and that's that sorted out. As you saw, the other bits of plastic, I've just sort of given the clean off. Things like the air filter cover and, um, the, uh, the brake cover at the back, little plastic pieces. I've just given them a wipe down and a little squirt with WD-40 and that just cleans the surfaces up now. All I've got to do now is just to service the engine, put a new plug in it, change the oil, give it a bit of a paint up. So we're gonna do that now. So let's, have, let's get onto that. Right, okay then, so uh, let's just get this spark plug out. Now again, I don't know what sort of condition this spark plug's gonna be in, even though it's my own personal lawnmower. <laughs> right, okay, that's got it. Right, let's just take this out and have a look. It's not too bad, to be honest with you. It's a bit oily, which uh, is to be expected. So let's get that one out there. I buy these in bulk. This is a NGK B2LM spark plug. Again, they haven't got to be too tight, just enough to compress the um, the ring that's uh, in there. So I like to do them just sort of, you can feel that turn in there. Now it's gone tight now, so I now know that that is the ring compressed. And then we just finish off with a little, just a slight little nip and that's it. That's all you need. That's a new spark plug in. And again, the oil should be taken on a level deck, which as you can see, which we are there, the motor's sitting level as it would be in the mower. 
so I'll just wipe that so let's just put that back in and you have to wind it back in fully to uh, do the oil measurement so there we go back in fully take it out and the oil was on the minimum there anyway so uh, I will be tipping this out and changing the oil so I'll get that sorted out and all I'm just going to do once more is just to go over it again with a, a little bit of a, a cleaner blow it all off before I just give it a quick repaint just to just to tidy it up so that's what I'm going to do now Okay then, as you can probably see there, I've um, removed the carburetor off of the actual fuel tank. Inside here it gets very dirty and if you've got an airline, you want to give this thing a good blowout because you do get lots of sediment. Now I've just tipped this out as you probably saw and it doesn't appear to be anything coming out but if you actually look in the bottom and hold it up at this angle, you can still see fluid swishing about in there and you're very, very hard to get that out as you can probably see, look, very hard to get that out. And that's normally all the sediment which you really want to be getting out. So just get a bit of cloth and push it in there. Make sure it's clean, obviously. Don't use tissue paper for this because it could deteriorate and break off in there. And, and just push it in and just tip it up to one edge facing to where you've actually wedged the, the tissue. And you'll probably find, if you give it a little wiggle about of a screwdriver as well, you'll pick up all them bits and pieces and also soak up the residual fluid that's left in there so that's what I've just done there right and let's clean that tank out there there's no more fluid swishing about in the bottom there so I'm happy with that right so before I go any further I'm just going to tape up these labels I want to give this just a quick coat of paint nothing spectacular it's just pure visual aesthetics I love that word <laughs> just cover up the labels Again, I'm not doing anything that's going to be Concours Condition Lawnmower here. So that's that one there, and there's a little one on the top there. Over the top of our where our carb sits, make sure you cover that up. And we'll just give this a quick coat of black paint, and we'll change the diaphragm on and the uh, gasket on the carburetor as well. These are what you want to check. If that priming bulb sort of comes out very slow when it's on the lawnmower, very slow, it can be this filter here which is blocked up. So this sits in the tank and there's also a filter around the main jet there as well. Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't pull that off. But I like to give these a blow through as well with the airline because there are little valves in there as well. So that's what I'll be doing afterwards. But let me just paint this quickly now and uh, we'll then have a look at the carb. Right, okay, so let's have a look at the carburetor here. As I said to you, if the uh, primer bulb comes out slow, that's the filter that's normally blocked up that one there. So this is the, uh, let's take these screws out, the fixing screws. This is the diaphragm and gasket. Now as you can see, the diaphragm is a very fine membrane here. Sometimes they come off together with the gasket. So if I just remove that now, Underneath there, as you can see, there's a little spring. You want to make sure that's retained. And then you've got the gasket, which comes off last. Normally, these gaskets come off in one go, so I've just been unfortunate here. Right, so then I'm just going to give it a little bit of a blast through with some compressed air. 
Now I like to get some carb cleaner in here as well. So Again, make sure your little filter goes back on over your main jet and make sure your little springs back in place there so I'm happy with that now and I'm just gonna get these bits of tape off now just to reveal the labels again like that again you could do these in an enamel paint something like hammerite smooth for example uh, that's a bit that's impervious to petrol so you should be okay if you use that right okay so that's like that we want to carefully place back on our carb and diaphragm it's probably easier as I say if you put it onto the base of the tank first like I've just done there for example and then carefully put the screws back in the holes they've got leading edges on these screws so they find their way into their holes but just make sure by just holding the carb in place while you're, you're dropping the screws on and once they've all located just make sure around the edges that you can't you, you, your gasket seat in correctly and just literally hand tight not even pinching them down yet I'm just going opposite corners by doing the screws up I'm not doing one fully tight and then going around the rest I'm going literally opposite corners just to nip them up and now I'll just eke them down a little bit more and I'm just going to nip round now one two three four one more and five there we go hopefully that will be it and there's our carb refurbed now don't forget you've also got this little ring here and there's a little o-ring there as well inside and that slides over the actual intake on the carb if that's missing or not fitted properly your carburetor can hunt and go up and down in revs as well <sighs> right we'll just have a little clear up now i'm going to put you on time lapse we're going to get everything back onto the mower so i'll see you in a minute Okay, here we are, here's the finished result. I've uh, done a few little jobs which I haven't shown on camera. I've like connected the cable up and I've also sharpened, cleaned and uh, balanced the blade as well. Let me just show you the blade. We just tipped the mower back, as you can probably see there. I've painted the blade and it's been sharpened and balanced as well, so I'm happy with that. And looking around the mower, I'm sure you can see it's a lot better than what it was when we started when you imagine what it was like and what it is now there's a big difference so I have just filled it up with some petrol and let's get it off the stand and let's take it over to the pathway Right, well I've not even tried to start it yet, so let's just get that cable up there. Oh, 
All right, okay. So, right, let's try that. Try it again. <laughs> Happy days. Well, I know I've done many of these before, but I uh, hope you enjoyed this little lawnmower refurbishment. It's gonna go to a good home now, and uh, I'm gonna be getting two lawnmowers in return, so. It was just a little project. You may not probably do this extent of restoration to a cheap mower like this, like a 70 or 80 pound lawnmower, but you'd probably do it to a 200 or 300 pound lawnmower and then probably make a bit of money on it as well. Or you might do it for a bit of a hobby or to save yourself buying your own uh, a new lawnmower when your old one just needed a little bit of TLC and it's actually quite good fun as you've probably seen. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video or this series of videos and we'll see you again in the next video. And until then, bye for now. Thank you.